Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. A bunch of convicts even do this. Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? <laughs> Need to distract him. Hacking app should work. Who's there? Better hurry. Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. You see the way he came through here? Guys, iodine, but no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. Both of them are. Glad they're on our side. You two, get over here. All right, all right, all right. Getting paranoid. Glad the boss took this contract. Hate the city, but the pay is great. Here's a coffee. Probably shouldn't have burned down. Stop right now. Copy. Just give us the location and schedule. Supplies. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. I don't have that information. Believe me, I hate watching Benson Whale. He turns my stomach. Why are the super dudes so set on taking out these relief centers? They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find. I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Come on. Let's keep digging through it. Another supply tent. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be something. Gotta avoid that sniper. Understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <gasps> Did not need to see that. What was that? Check it. 
Now. Don't think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha. <laughs> Kids got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. You want a taste? I gotta work on my fight banner.
Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief center. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you-know-who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash and a clear attempt to evade justice for his crimes. Only a fool would believe that he's Mr. Positive one moment, helping the poor with a smile, then suddenly he's Mr. Negative, blowing up, wait a minute, Mr. Negative. That's gold, Jared. Gold. Trademark it. Stack. <laughs> as I was saying, folks, Martin Lee's evil side, or as everyone is now calling him, Mr. Negative, has been revealed as the culprit for the City Hall bombing. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Ah! Rhino, what's with the team up? Ah! Thought you were a loner. Ah! Means an end, folk. All of life is means an end. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more suit! No more rhino!
Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorch, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to keep up? Yes, Scorch, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. <laughs> How did you not see that coming? Distracted by your whining! So you guys and Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about... We murdered Spider-Man and used his corpse for a blanket. Yeah. Target, please. You embarrass yourself. Stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull unscrunched? 
Out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! <laughs> A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. All units, armed hostiles are assaulting a police van. Additional officers report to Spanish Harlem. Alarmist. Paranoid. Conspiracy theory. All nasty words and demean me. But now, after years of me trying to warn you all, here we are. Spider-Man has literally brought a plague down upon us. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. He is a cockroach. An arrogant cockroach. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. Are you sure he's up there right now? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. You can't treat us like animals. If I get sick, I'll sue you into the ground. Let us upstairs before we all catch the disease. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh, man. 
I can't breathe. Let me back Security up rooms open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. We're in charge. Okay. Multi-million dollar building with network speeds from 1995. <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable will offer elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. The Fab Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left the secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry folk. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but 
Thank you, Dad. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Norman and Otto. Wow, they look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Happy birthday, dear. Sorry I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto Pax in Bello, Peace in War. <sighs> Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? <gasps> it's the combat prototype from the schematic.
Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the devil's spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Got a real mad scientist thing going on. Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure. Not wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. 
This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Nope, that's just disabled, but none of these patrols cross Dr. Nope, that's just disabled. Commercial building. Bravo, bravo, bravo. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. And this must be the C team. No. Dr. Michaels was near a lot of Sable forces, but good old Alpha Devil's Breath Lab should check the patrol routes again. Wow. So many records facilities. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. Where do these three categories overlap? That must be the lab's location. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics act? No movement from Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Good old Alpha Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable pre- No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the- GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it! Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that- I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27, Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running.
need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. Mm -hmm. 